Shalom, brothers and sisters. So, in James 5, verse 19 and 20, it says the following. Brethren, if anyone among you wanders from the truth and someone turns him back, let him know that he who turns a sinner from the error of his way will save a soul from death and cover a multitude of sins. Now the word used here in the Greek for sinner is Strong's 268 is hamartulos. That is the word in Greek. It is an archer's term for missing the mark. When we sin, we've missed the mark. God has shown us the right way. We sin, we're missing the mark. Uh, a traveler leaving a familiar road and taking twisted paths that cause him to lose his way. Twisted paths from a straight way. The word denotes one devoted to sin by choice. We choose that sin. Sometimes it's a familiar sin. Sometimes we think it's a small sin. Something that's not harming anybody else. Something we can deal with. It's our little sin. You know, something that God can get, get behind me on because it's not going to affect me in a big way. We're choosing that sin and we become devoted to that sin, which leads to our destruction. Contrary to the eternal laws of God. So that gives you the problem. All have fallen short of the glory of God. All of us have sinned and we all need saving. Now, when you go to Romans, let's just turn to Romans chapter 8, verse 2. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. Now, made free here in the Greek, Strong's 1659 is eleutherao. L-U-Thera-O. It means to liberate, to acquit, as in a court case, to set free, to deliver. This word is used exclusively in the New Testament for Jesus setting believers at liberty from the dominion of sin. It is only through the finished work of Christ on the cross him being our savior and his shed blood that we can be set free that our chains can be broken that we can be set at liberty that we can be acquitted guilty verdict removed you're free to go someone else has taken your charge on them they have paid the price you can leave it's the same as if you've got a large fine against you you go to court, they're going to lock you up because it's such a huge fine. But one powerful, wealthy benefactor has stepped in. You don't even know him yet. And he has fully paid your fine. That court will tell you, you're acquitted. You're free to go. Someone else has paid your fine. That is exactly what it is like with Christ. He paid your fine before you even deserved it. We, none of us, deserve his grace. But he loves us that much. There is sin. A devotion to that sin. That leads us to destruction. And there is a solution. To be made free. To be liberated. To be acquitted. To be delivered. By our Savior. The only one who can save you. Jesus Christ. God bless. Keep looking up. Shalom.